Hello, my name is Lucas De Silva. I'm professor at the Department of Mechanical Engineering of the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Porto and researcher at INEGI. I have 32 modules for you, 32 videos, where I am going to discuss adhesive bonding. Adhesive bonding is a joining method increasingly used in various industries, especially in the transport industry, and we are going to go through all the steps involved in this technology. This is a course perfectly adequate for the master level or even for a PhD level. It's a good first solid introduction to the subject. Let's see now what we have in this course, Adhesive Bonding. In this module, I will introduce you the contents and also the bibliography. But first of all, I want to show you this link, um, which um, gives you um, uh, the, the activities that we do uh, in a, a, a group here at Porto, at the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Porto, and in Asia, an institute uh, that belongs to the, to the University of Porto. And in this site, uh, you have all the activities that uh, we, are, we are carrying out related to adhesive bonding and uh, other uh, methods of uh, joining. Uh, if you click on, uh, on this link, you have a presentation of the group and I leave that to you later when you have more time. So, let's go then to the contents. Um, you have all these uh, topics. We will go through all uh, these uh, topics. Uh, you see that uh, it's uh, quite long, um, but um, very shortly, starting from the introduction, we will, um, we will give you some definitions, make a brief history, uh, discuss the main advantages, the limitations, and give some applications. Then, in the chapter Theory of Adhesion, we will discuss the main theories of adhesion, so that we understand in which conditions we have a good bond between the adhesive and the substrate. Once we understand that, then we can go uh, to the next step, which is surface preparation, and we will cover all the treatments that exist for metals, for non-metals, to guarantee that the adhesive will create a good bond with the substrate and will be durable. Um, we will discuss the main adhesive families, uh, epoxies being the major one, but we will describe all the other major uh, adhesive families. Uh, if you want later to do some calculation and do joint design, then you need the adhesive mechanical properties. So we will discuss uh, the various types of tests that exist for strength uh, determination or for the fracture energy uh, determination. Then we will discuss all the manufacturing steps and as you can see uh, in this figure there are uh, many. Uh, this is a very important part of the technology because many things can go wrong here if we don't do things uh, properly. After the joint is made we have the quality control. Basically we want to detect defects without destroying the joint. Fortunately, there are many methods, but uh, there is one particular defect that is still extremely difficult to detect, which is a weak adhesion. Um, adhesive bonding is a chemical bonding. It's not like a, a rivet or, or a bolt, which are uh, mechanical joints. So you have chemical substances involved. So, of course, you need to be careful and to know uh, what are the dangers involved when you handle these kind of products. That will be discussed in health and safety. Then comes one of the most important uh, chapters, joint design, where, we're, where we will calculate, we will predict uh, the joint strength in the long term and in the short term. Short term is quite easy, long term it's, uh, it's more difficult. We are talking, of course, about durability. What will be the effect of water, of temperature, of fatigue or creep in 10, in 20 years? That maybe are the major challenges at the moment in this topic, in this technology. Um, to finish this, um, this first introduction to the contents, I want to recommend two books. You have this one, which is Introduction to Adhesive Bonding. It's a theoretical book which covers all the topics that I previously 
mentioned, all right? So that's, that's the theory. It's not very, very, very well uh, detailed, uh, the book, but still you have all the information you need for a first good introduction. And then if you want to um, uh, have access to um, a question, exercises, uh, a practical uh, uh, work in the lab, uh, demonstrations, then I recommend uh, this book. This is more for uh, a practical uh, studying. The other one is for uh, the theory. And that's it for this first module, the module zero, where we um, have an idea about the contents of the course.